This is the sound webinar, um, having some principles for recording audio, for educational videos and reports, and of course for anything else that it's also like some simil similar to these. What we will be going through tonight is like some basic questions. Uh, also, we will talk about the equipment that we need for the recordings, the sound recorder, of course, some kinds of microphones and headphones and accessories. Uh, afterwards, we will go through workflow and organization uh, before, during and after the shooting and then talk about some situations uh, of like everyday recording life. First, we start with the basic questions. Based on this topic, like millions of videos are being posted on the internet every single day. And uh, like uh, the one of the big differences from many of these videos is the quality, the, the quality of the sound. And uh, as I have found in one of the blogs of filmmaking, he says, there's no faster way to make a video feel amateurish than having bad audio. Then, of course, if you are interested in the content of the video, and especially for educational videos, it is very important to have good audio quality so that the audience is interested, understanding, and that keep connected with you from beginning to end. Otherwise, you will lose it. So, recommendation, improve the production value and quality of your videos with good sound. Now the questions. If the camera has already an internal microphone, why don't we just record sound with it? Well, I guess most of you already know like the camera sound also that comes uh, with like built-in microphones, like also smartphones. They have um, like very low quality and uh, they also get easily disturbance from the external sound, especially wind. It's like very annoying or like handling of the camera. They also are not close enough to the source. So, of course, you still have like a lot of um, like other disturbing noises around your main subject. And well, the main function of a camera is like recording good images and not good audio. So, of course, it's uh, they have another purpose. So what about mounting an external microphone directly to the camera, as you see here in the picture? This is indeed better than using the internal microphones. And uh, if it's a small shotgun uh, that like this directional microphone that you put on the camera, it will work good, like better than before, because uh, it's a more directional sound. But still, like the preamps inside the camera are like have very low quality. The microphone is still like uh, um, somehow far from your subject or your talent. It still picks up the room noise like a ventilator, air conditioner, computer and uh, the river also like of the room that you are uh, recording and uh, you can't manipulate the recording the sound parameters while recording because of course you're gonna like be causing some moving on the camera so it's also not a very good idea. What about the external preamps that can be connected to the camera? Like in the picture that we see, it's like this red device, like in top of the camera. That's one external preamp or preamplifier. This is definitely like the best of the three options, especially for a one man show when where one person has to do like camera and sound and light and uh, interview and everything. <laughs> But still, um, is, if it's something like you see in the picture that uh, the microphone is still like here attached to the camera, it's still like not close enough to our uh, protagonist. So you will still have all the room sound and uh, you shouldn't manipulate the device like the preamp during the recording because you might move the camera and you are also going to distract the person that is in front of your camera. And also it's very hard for one person to pay high attention to both, to image and to sound. So recommendation, have one person for the camera and one person for the sound, and you would have like great quality in both of the areas.